All right, everybody, we are getting bigger in the garden, and so now we are requiring a garden seeder. Look at that. Happy birthday to me. My birthday's coming up in a couple of days. I got myself some seeds for Christmas, and now I got me a seed planter for my birthday. This is the Earthway uh, 1001B uh, garden seeder. We're going to get it out of the box here and put it together. It should only require a couple of tools to put together. Uh, but I'm excited. I mean, it's my garden's not that big, but uh, I'll make good use of it, so stick around. All right, uh, I got my uh, Earthway Garden Cedar put together, but one thing I wanted to point out is this label here made in USA, American made by an American owned company. That's what I'm talking about. Keep it in America, baby. All right, so moving over here, there is the cedar. Uh, it came, pretty much all this was together. The back wheel wasn't on it, and the handle and the measuring stick wasn't on it, but the rest of it came as one piece, even with the blade and the chain, everything was on it. So I had four uh, bolts to put through it, and then I had to put this little pin through it, the Carter pin. And this allows your uh, measuring, if you're, when you're measuring your rows. And I marked on here 12 inches, or 12 inches from there, and then another 12 inches out. And then it comes out, it's, all, it's two and a half feet. So really, I wish it come out to three feet, but it doesn't, because a lot of stuff is uh, planted in three foot rows, and that only gives you two and a half feet. So my corn rows might be a little closer than I anticipated. Uh, but yeah, I got it together. I did a little dry run with it. Uh, and uh, that's what it is. It comes with these different discs. We got six plates. I'm not doing 100% with this machine because it's all over YouTube. Just about everybody, I mean, it's got one made a video. So but it's got different uh, C discs that come with it. Pretty much your standard disc. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to have it. Made in America. And uh, very affordable. I'm sure it'll work out for me. I mean, my garden just got a little bigger this year. I had a guy come and till me up a 20 by 60 out of my backyard. So basically he had to come and, well, let me flip this thing around, stand by. Yeah, so what I was saying is uh, I had a guy come out and bring his tractor and till me up some of my backyard. So he pulled all the grass and roots up and piled that all up for me and I've been sifting through it getting some of the dirt out but some of it's gonna go away but uh and I got it tilled up real good and we got it amended a little bit and so we'll do some more amendments once we get stuff growing and uh yeah so excited to have it we're getting growing bigger and I don't know that we would have grown this big this fast if it wasn't for what's going on in the world today with every being, everything being shut down and seeds not being essential. Uh, I bought up a lot of seeds, so um, something you can't, can't get a hold of to right now. So, all right, check it out. Tell me what you think. Greetings, everybody. Pop truck here. Well, it's springtime, and I, I haven't put a video out in a while. Uh, I've had a, a spill back in November and broke my ankle and I've been down for several months and I'm up and walking, still having some knee problems, but my ankle's healing up. I'm limping around I'm like an old man <laughs> before my time anyways. But uh, this video here, I think, you know, I know everybody's seeing what's going on and I know this video is a little late coming out, but so we're in the middle of this lockdown we're in florida and we're in this lockdown and everybody's seeing seeds disappearing and and unable i mean yeah you can get them online but i mean the local stores even the the co-op that i went to they said well once we sell these we can't get no more right now anyways so what do y'all think are y'all buying up seeds i mean I, i'm starting to collect more than i normally would but i'm also fixing to till up more land now 
I probably wouldn't have done this if this wasn't taking place, but I'm thinking it's, it's a necessity. So I've got a guy coming out, and he's going to um, rake out, pull out the grass in a section. It's going to be a 20 by 60, and uh, so he's got all the equipment. I just don't have the equipment. I've got a tiller. I can till the soil once he's done with it, and I will. But uh, he's going to pull out the grass. He's going to pull out the roots. And uh, then he's going to till it a few times. And that will allow me to uh, get going with a bigger garden. And I'll lose that much yard. But that's okay. I've got plenty of land. We're going to expand this thing and uh, go from there. But just stay tuned. I, I, I'm going to have some, uh, some video of him and you'll see what he's doing and this will just be a short video but that's what's going on you know um, I'm a truck driver so I know if the truck stop running then food don't get delivered and I've got food growing but the more the merrier so y'all stick around check it out tell me what you think are you guys uh, doing a bigger garden this year are you tilling a garden for the first time or, or let me know in the comments below and uh, we'll check you later all right, so I'm gonna use, and I'll show you this. This is a burpee uh, sweet corn, Bilicious hybrid is what it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and dump this into the hopper and you'll see what it's gonna do. Um, normally, well, I mean, it says you can place it anywhere from two to two and a half feet or two to three feet. So I'm gonna go with two feet and that actually gives me an extra row in my garden. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the hopper and uh, We'll get on underway here. Well, if I can get it open. So I'm just going to push this in a straight row, but I'm going to walk off to the one side and I'm going to lean the machine over because there's a disc in here that catches the corn. And just bear with me and you'll see the process here. Pretty easy. Oh, I got some ants in the way. So what's happening is uh, the corn's going down, being dropped down the chute, the chain's picking the dirt up, Covering it up. That's pretty much it. I'm just going to do that. And then we'll catch the next row and turn around and do it again. Alright. So, now I've got my next row marked. It's not such a straight line. I'm going to take this, put it on this side. And it's going to give me an equal amount. And once again, I'm going to walk to the right of it and try to stay on that line a little bit. And we'll go ahead and make it happen again. I like popping out of there now, I like popcorn. Look right here in this marker, it's putting it, the next row will be two feet apart from this row.
there is to it. Going a little bit slower so you guys can see kind of what's going on here. I got me a different camera person. He's going to film it. You should be able to see the corn falling down the chute. And then Shane is filling it in. And that's how it works. And unfortunately, I hear people say that they end up over planting because this is so fast they uh, wanted to do more so I'm sure we'll have our share of over planting as well okay so I just did five rows of corn this is the uh, corn disc and I'm just gonna twist it forward and it slides out like this you can see it's got the bigger holes and it even says on it sweet corn and that's what we put in there so now I'm going to put in my okra disc so to attach it to put it in here well you try to put it in there let's see okay and then just take it back towards the handle and now it's locked in that's it it's belt driven so when the front wheel turns it picks up the seed and it drops it down the chute in the hole and then this chain right here will pick the dirt up cover it up and then the back wheel packs it in that's all there is to it all right so here i'm using burpee again once again this is a clemson spineless okra i'm gonna do one row of okra and uh, it's pretty much the same thing i'll probably there's a fill line down here uh, for the seeds, and it works better if it's filled up. Even though I'm not going to use nearly as much, I'll probably put more in it than what I need. So let me go ahead and... All right, so if you look in there, you can see I got it filled up pretty good. I'm not going to use all that right now, but it'll help out better. Also, if you notice when I'm... Uh, pushing the the planter. I've got it kind of cocked at an angle that way the seed will fall, fall better into this disc So I'm kind of I'm walking on the right side of it over here, and I got it tilted that away just a little bit so All right, here we go with the okra seeds I'm gonna try them out I guess they seem to be going in pretty decent. I'm right on the edge of this grass, so it'll be all right. All right, that's it. I planted five rows of corn out here and one row of okra. You can see the rows. There's the uh, row of okra and then uh, all the different rows of corn right there. That's uh, what it looks like after the wheel packs it down. It kind of raises it up so when you water it, it'll uh, have a little channel to go through. But let me tell you something, that took five minutes ten minutes I planted five rows of corn actually I, well I planted six total rows let's now wait for it to grow and, <laughs> and replant again so all right so thanks for stopping by and checking us out tell me what you think we'll talk to y'all later